That's right, Ruth. About a thousand of these flyers have been printed out and now in the hands of about a dozen officers. Right now, they're out there on the streets trying to get more information because a lot of people have heard about the East Side Rapist, but not a lot of people have seen this picture. In the meantime, for the first time, one of the victims spoke out. She spoke with us. She is the fourth victim in the attacks, attacked at Hickory and Seven Mile, and now forever haunted. Okay. Okay, well, apparently we are having some technical difficulties. Uh, like I said, I did get a chance to speak to that victim. She is very distraught. I'm told that she is starting a therapy come tomorrow. She says she realizes it was a horrible mistake to be out about 2 o'clock in the morning, but of course she never saw this coming. Uh, in fact, we are told by police that on more than one occasion, uh, the victims were not alone. We've been told by the commander here, uh, they have been briefed about an hour ago, that officers will be out on the streets all afternoon today as well as tomorrow. We've been told that there are officers from other precincts taking part uh, in this community-wide effort uh, to bring, of course, a name and uh, some information to this serial rapist. Now, of course, uh, she does tell us that the whole time uh, she was attacked, she did feel uh, as if uh, she was going to be killed. Uh, we'll, we'll try to get more information and uh, more of that interview for you. But for now, for more information on the suspect uh, description and uh, by all the accounts, we do urge you to go to our website at clickondetroit.com. For now, that is the latest reporting live from Detroit's east side, Borakim, Local 4. All right.